What's up, John Blazy? What's going on, Ma? How you feeling? I'm feeling good. How are you feeling? Man, I'm doing amazing now that you on the phone, but I'm very upset about this Tory Lane situation. Snake life. Man, y'all gotta hit them likes, man, because people in Canada looking at y'all like y'all ever talk. Wow, wow, Wes. It's like We're it doesn't rolling matter. Out. Jesus Christ, dude, let me gather my thoughts. Let him start figuring it out. Don't just hit go. <laughs> God, we're talking about cool Watch headshots. Off. Microphone suicide is the new headshot. For sure. Oh, yeah, for sure. I, I like the kind of like... Like that fucking guy in Vietnam. <laughs> That'd be fun, right? That'd be a fun picture. Reenacting Bud Dwyer would be kind of tight. If it was you going... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a uh, as an unfortunate aspect, but it needs to be done. I don't know if it does. That's the thing. Uploading, uh, you I'm can done. use. I'm you done can, with bios. You can I'm go done with headshots. Yeah, it's ridiculous. You can do iPhone portrait mode. That's like a that's like a professional photographer. I hate to break it to photographers, but yeah, you've been your, your days are numbered. Photographers of preying on whores. Yeah, I mean they'll still get them. They they probably want the flash in the setting, but dude, do you ever see portrait mode on an iPhone? Yes, it's ridiculous how good it's it very is. Very nice. My headshots are portrait mode in my Yours house. Great. Portrait mode outside. On the deck, just chilling. Yours is nice, but eh, mine is I nice. I kind of hate it. You see, every, after you see it for a while, you go, "I'm such a dumbass." People probably think this is serious. That's the like, thing. I'd love yeah. to do the caution tape across the mouth, <laughs> dude. You would freak out in like two days. I would post it and be like, "Actually, delete it. We need a new one." Because <laughs> some places would use it as billboards. There's gonna be billboards this year. Yeah. Fuck. Do a full body. It makes it funnier. Do a full body. Full body Why headshot. Why would that be funny if I did that, Matt? Because it's always everyone's head. If you had a picture of just you outside From by yourself, distance. that'd be tight. I'm talking billboards. You need full body. So you're fucking you. I might get squad. a very small one. I want a big billboard? Yeah. Or a really a small really headshot? D- very small full body picture. Yeah. Like I'm in a very, in the distance. That'd be kind of nice. Be nice for a billboard. Very Asian. It'd be very Asian. Back of a man in the very distance. Very Asian. A lot, of, a lot of the Zen art, there's the, you know, nature and then they show people as like very small and significant things so it kind of would be next level if you did that like guys i'm going zen this year i am zen yeah fuck you're a pretty zen dude you're pretty zen dude i actually you know what honestly matt i really am i know it's for real when bad things happen i go that sucks oh well we'll see exactly we'll see what happens now we'll see i don't know like are you happy right now things are good i'm like we'll see we'll see what's up could be some negative stuff could be. Inevitably, there will be negative stuff. Yeah, I mean, I, I think it's like, it all depends. I always wonder about that. How do you, you know, how do you not, like, grip the rails of a hospital deathbed, just completely confused and bewildered? And like, <laughs> I think there's a way to not do that. I'm just, I don't what? know. Did you, like, not die at totally confused and miserable and scared and terrified and all that stuff? Yeah, you fucking die early. You think so? Yeah. I don't know. You don't. There's. Is that a myth of like the when like you see like Avatar and the old dude finally dies and he's like, "Go, it's your time." Yeah, that's a myth. It's your time. If you shut down like that, go, it's your time. You're not talking. Go. You're going. To, what? <laughs> <laughs> Where are we? <laughs> no, you need to have a heart attack. Heart attack at a kids party. Yeah, it's over. True. <gasps> Your wife goes get. You need to get the cake. You go fucking bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh. God. And then you try to light it. Your hands shaking. Yeah. And then you carry it out, and the kids are singing. And you don't tell anyone anything's wrong. Don't tell anyone. You're just walking weird, and someone's like, "What the fuck's wrong with him?" It's collapse. And you fall onto the cake. Kids yeah. scream. They flip you over. You got a smile on your face. You're done. <laughs> you're out. Yeah, true. You're out. Shut up, bitch. That's yeah. how you win an argument as a man. Your wife nags you into die a fucking early thing. grave. You just go, shut the fuck up. And then when you die, she finds out you owe, yeah, you owe like <laughs> hundreds of thousands of dollars. <laughs> <laughs> credit card debt. 
<laughs> and that you had a girlfriend. Your last words are just good luck, bitch. <laughs> <sighs> that would be funny. You could go out like that black dude getting tased. You go, I'm going to get you, bitch. Oh, I That's the best it. way. It's a black. It's a classic video. Where we were? Was he Crackhead, security? Shirtless, fat black dude getting tased by the cops. Oh, I didn't see that. And he gets tased, and he just looks at the girl and goes, "I'm gonna get you, bitch." And he allows them to he take him away. Up. He, they're tasing him while he does it. Damn. He just powers through it to just be like, "I'm gonna kill you when I get out of here." Fuck. It's pretty great. Damn, that's awesome. Yes, that's the equivalent of a heart attack at a kids' party. Fake goes, coma would be nice. I'm gonna get you. Fake coma would be sick. Fake coma to go into the hospital and just go. <laughs> and just blink just like but just be the whole time like he's out he's definitely out they can't prove you're not in a coma yeah but then you hear the nasty things people would say about you while you're perfect. in your bed perfect dude you storm all up and as soon as <laughs> you, you, you get sitting enough, there like <laughs> <laughs> Do your wife's boyfriend's there with yeah. your kids and they're like Look we like him. you so much more it's only yeah. a matter of time you're Guys, you don't want a fucking fake coma right now, all right? <laughs> 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 Just a break for like five days, dude. How do you think you're going? Heart, right? I don't know. I used to think that, but I, I think I think the heart's strong. I don't know. I don't want to jinx myself. Percentage uh, wise, I'm, it's heart. I'm thinking like brain fucking stroke. Oh yeah, or brain. Something. That's you're you're more brain. Yeah, I'm more of a brain guy. I thought it was a heart guy. I'm I think I'm more of a I'm more faulty of... brain guy. I think I don't. It's I got both. You're versions. the scarecrow. I'm the cowardly lion. <laughs> yeah. I got both versions in the, yeah. in the family, so I don't know. Although big mentia, I could go the mentia route. I could live till yeah. eighty and just completely forget my whole family, and then just fucking like fist fight a is, Jamaican lady and die. Yeah, <laughs> Carol. <laughs> if that is like that time we did shrooms, where I was like, I don't know where I am or what is happening or where, like if it's that level of fear, yeah, having dementia would suck. Yeah, that would stink. If you're just going through like, where the fuck am I? This I, is a new house. This is fun. Yes. It's not like 50 first days. No, I think like, it's like, you see Adam I think Sandler you're like, every wait, day where am go, I? He's cute. I like him. Adam Sandler keeps getting more charming every it, day. It turns out we actually live together. He knows everything about it. He keeps that's, fucking me every day. That's one of girls top... <laughs> <laughs> Jesus is like have, like forgetting someone completely and like through some weird magic of love just being like wait yeah it's all coming together oh my gosh the necklace yes ours our fantasies are so ours is me and six of my guys drive fast cars together and we pull out a heist <laughs> for sure that's guy stuff yeah Although I will say at least fast and furious a decent amount of men are like that's for real that's retarded you yeah. put on the notebook or one of these movies of like dementia and love every single woman it's like well that it's actually a good movie they love it they absolutely they absolutely they love that movie it's i love breaking it down to them why that's not true yeah that'll never happen and it, that guy's actually a fool that's your heist which it's one? kind of your fast and furious you get in a warehouse you figure it out you go i'm gonna ruin the oh, notebook. for sure i'm gonna ruin the notebook for these women i'm building a bomb i'm building a bomb yeah. dude i'm sitting here like this you're armor this is the pirate tech this is the pyromania you've become death i always i'm like dude this guy's this is this is literally it's porn for them. This is emotional pornography. Why would that guy? She was married to another man. No one's ever going to sit there and build you a fucking house. Yeah. While you're married to some other dude. That was crazy. To see, I, I'm not going to talk about that again. But that, that I'd shit, like to hear you talk about. It. That movie pissed me off, dude. Well, it should piss you off. Oh yeah, I've been waiting. I'm just building this house, waiting for you. I put my whole life on hold. I, I that's, knew. Yeah. It's a it's a terrifying glimpse in a female psychology. Wasn't one, weren't they in the war? Wasn't using men World like War pawns? II? Huh? Wasn't World War Two? The Notebook. Yeah, wasn't, wasn't, like a guy wasn't of, Ryan Gosling like a Nazi or something? And he came. He back? was a Nazi. <laughs> and he built an all white house for the girl. <laughs> Meanwhile, wasn't the other guy like a burn victim, war hero, or something? Was he really? I don't know. I don't, I don't he don't wasn't think a I've Nazi. No, he wasn't a Nazi. Right, Gosling was a Nazi, but <laughs> he the was other guy was an American notebook? war hero. In the Notebook. No, with, look it up. Yeah, what? See what Ryan Gosling fought for. He definitely nails... What side of the World War II was Ryan Gosling on? There's no way he was a Nazi, dude. You'll see. I can't believe this. Guarantee it. That would be so nice if that was the case. It's like, he was so nice. <laughs> he was fucking... He was sitting there building that house. Keeping it a secret. <laughs> yeah, oh, see, they really? don't want you to know. <laughs> what? I mean, dude, to be fair, how much more of that turn... Come on, Noah. Use your head on this. <laughs> These guys are crazy, Just bro. say he was a Nazi. Obviously, he was not a fucking Nazi. <laughs> he was a Nazi. <laughs> say he was a he Nazi. He was a damn dirty Nazi. <laughs> no, he was not. Do dude, me a favor and play along next time. <laughs> <laughs>
Cut Dude. this out. Next time I tell you to look up a fact. True. Yeah, can we just get a blanket policy? If Use we say head. something, just be like, yeah, guys, I found it. It's online. What you, you guys, guys said totally was right. right. Yeah. Just okay. do that every time. Okay. Totally right. You were so right. He was an awful Nazi. Ryan Gosling was a national socialist from yeah. Germany. He played Goebbels. Was he Goebbels in the notebook? Yeah. <laughs> and he psyoped the woman. He used propaganda every day. Right. So the movie is the woman has uh She has like dementia. a rich... Yeah. She forgets the guy. Some guy literally... And the guy has a notebook. her brains out, dude. Yeah, he she knocks goes, her loose. Oh, and bumps into a door. And he's like, get in here. <laughs> Some weirdo in the woods just... Eats her butt a house she and eats her butt. Till she remembers. Then she goes, huh? I remember this. What happened to the first guy? Why'd she leave him? Did he love her still? He probably died. A girl fa- it's a girl fantasy. He yeah. like died and left her a bunch of money. Then she like sucked some guy's dick that was bigger and had like carpentry skills. And she was like, this works too. She got the best of both worlds. She got security from the guy and then she got like the passion from like the weird troubled loner. Yeah, that is a common trope in these movies that the weird troubled loner's hot and looking for love. Yeah, and is passionate. Yeah, he's definitely not just no. researching like Holocaust statistics yeah, online he's not, all day. Yeah, the weird loner is not that guy. <laughs> no, there's like well, they're like he's it, getting he's checking into Mandalay Bay. <laughs> he's getting a room. Yeah, they are. They're the fantasy is that like he's sitting there like reading like beat poetry and eating an apple and being like, I mean, if I could just only find the one, I'm only thinking about that one girl. Taking like, my no. mind off of my bill in this house. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. <laughs> oh, he's kind of just spot. <laughs> <laughs> he's the notebook. He is the notebook. He's building a nest. He's going to tear some lady up, dude. He's going to knock a lady's head off. He's going to bring her to the morgue. He's going <laughs> to He's going to fuck a lady so hard she ends up in a padded room. <laughs> People have to come in and slap her every day. She's smearing shit on the door. The spud man knocked her into Arkham Asylum. <laughs> he, might, he might unleash the fucking ultimate nut, yeah. dude. Ultimate load. The fire hydrant. The fire the hydrant. kids are going to be playing it. The, oh, <laughs> it's going to be on the streets of Philadelphia. To be fair, yeah. The kids will be playing in that. Yeah. Slipping it, slipping in it. Slipping and sliding. Uh, slipped in it. Slipping in the semen. <laughs> Have you ever encountered semen in the wild? Probably. Hold on. I got to think about it. Uh... No, I don't know if I have actually. What's what's the penalty for that? If you see semen? No, I mean if you see something, if you see something, say something. <laughs> I think if I'm, <laughs> I'm I'm almost certain I I had to have encountered semen in the wild, but I would have played. I would have been like somebody that was a loogie. Yeah, but like what's okay? Obviously, if you jerk off in public, you get arrested, and that's it, fine. What if you just dump your cum in public? If you just dump like a load like out a, of like a, cup. from the 1800s, where they just throw it out the window, bucket <laughs> <laughs> like their fucking toilet. Well, if you got caught like putting it on the sidewalk. You just like got a load from a Dixie cup and just went and dumped it on the sidewalk. You couldn't really get in no trouble. No penalty. I don't think you get in trouble. You say this is a loogie. Yeah. Well, you'd say it's a load. This is my load. This is my load. It's my load. I took Sir, it outside to get rid of public, it. This is a public sidewalk. <laughs> that was my load. You could dump semen onto the street. Yes. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's sterile too. It's not going to get any. Well, unless you, you know, unless you, got, if a woman unless you got slips and falls directly onto it. Wouldn't they wish? You give birth to a street baby. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> what is it, no? This is a podcast. So, this is a fire. No, we're we're, fired. All, we're fired. all cylinders again, <laughs> man. Boom, 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 boom. Dude, how, do they keep, how do they keep doing it? <laughs> it's crazy. So it is not illegal to dump semen. You can nice. just dump semen anywhere. And it's that. not illegal to steal semen either. Hold up. Wait. But it oh. is illegal if you make somebody eat it or drink it. <laughs> yes. But you can just dump it yeah. anywhere. <laughs> Looks like I see a couple lawbreakers in here tonight. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> making someone eat or drink? Well, isn't it the same thing? What do you mean? I mean, they're not gonna like chew it up with a fork and knife. Eat or drink. I mean, but if you like, if you like, bake it into something, or you put it in like a cup oh. of gel or something, <laughs> cream in the coffee. Mm-hmm. But yeah, no, you can. Creme. But you can steal it. You can steal it, and it's completely legal. But they said it is a men's rights rights issue that they're working on. Well, Come crooks. Yeah, sperm theft. It's called. What do you mean? Oh, if you like, like if you, you could break into a sperm bank. Well, no, if you came in a condom, because you'd be breaking and entering. But if like if say we had sex and I was a woman, if we had sex and I took the condom and like took it and injected myself with it, I didn't commit a crime. Once sperm's out of your body, it's literally public it's domain. Public domain. Yeah. But if it was in a sperm bank, I'd be at least breaking and entering. But if I say I'm in there to donate and I like took like four. If canisters, I find a condom on the street, that's yours, brother. And I in, yours, inverted brother. into my pussy. That's yours. That's I'm yours. So desperate for children. That's yours. Pretty nuts. Yeah. Is Drake. it is it a crime to put a hole in a condom if you're a girl? 
to like take the condom and put a hole in it. I don't think that's a crime. I don't think you get in trouble for that. At least it should be. You know, it should be a serious crime, but I don't think it is. But either way, we get <laughs> back to that. Yes. What were we fired? We were fired. Let's put a pin in that. Sexual yeah, assault. A, huh? Sexual assault. You put a pin in the condom? Yep. I said, let's put a yes. pin in that and let's talk about something else. <laughs> Matt. Now I see what you're you doing. You get me a little cup of Joe. Now I see now what you're doing. Now all of a sudden I'm higher level really. comedy. For real. Come on, dude. It's At, fucking nuts. Go ahead. Ask me a joke. <laughs> ask you a joke. <laughs> <laughs> ask me any joke, dude. Knock, knock, dude. Knock, knock. Who's there? It's me. I was married to another man. I see you built this fine house. Please eat my ass. Please eat my ass so I can remember. Get in here. Don't tell anyone I've been a Nazi. Fuck. <laughs> I'm going to fuck you until you're retarded. I was not a Nazi. Get in here. That's why he had to knock her loose. She found all his memorabilia. True. In the house he True. built. True. He fucking, the last thing, the thing that she forgot was him taking a fucking club. And <laughs> bopping her on the head. Right on the fucking head. Taking her to the loony bin. Yeah. Thank you, Hamilton Devices, for sponsoring the show, Innovators and in Vape Tech. Vape like you're in the goddamn future with Hamilton Devices. Um, Another personal endorsement. I, I do like Hamilton Devices. I like the Star. The Starship is, you got to be a pretty intense dude for that. They're actually, they're giving away a Starship. Uh, if you go to the show notes, you can click a link and you can maybe get a free one where you smoke three cartridges at the same time. <laughs> and there's the gamer I, again I, it's, it's hey are you ready to have your whole fucking day ruined <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty intense <laughs> Hamilton devices are your guys it's like doing it their, their whole thing is like it's like doing a dab on the go yeah it's, in, it's intense I gave it to Lemare right away he I swallows saw this those. the power's too great for me I said here you go Lemare he houses those dude destroys it he's a toad guys these vapes give you full flavor huge clouds and, and work with extremely thick oils Hamilton mm. Devices is giving away a pair of Starship vapes to one lucky Matt and Shane fan. Enter at the link in the show notes. Winner will be selected on January 17th. But if you're ready to drop some coin, go to HamiltonDevices.com and use code DRENCHED15 for 15% off. Buyer must be 21 or older. That's HamiltonDevices.com, code DRENCHED15 for 15% off. Nice. Now, back are you ready to get back? Or strap in. You're about to get back into the world's hottest podcast. <laughs> Damn, son, where'd you find this? <laughs> do you do you see like old couples and go like, oh, that's so nice? No. Yeah, I don't. I don't have that either. When I see like a super old couple, I just go like, jeez, jeez, Louise. Yeah, it fucking sucks. You know dude. what I mean? You see an old like couple walking together. See them being so old that you just fully <laughs> rely on someone else, just like. And they get mad at each other, which is fun. That is kind of funny. When you see a dude That's still nice. getting I, chewed I do up, like that. So part of me wants to run up and give him a double British Bulldog. Right, right Put him out. Track. Take him out. Send him to Valhalla. Or just, dude, imagine just grabbing just, just British Bulldog and the wife and being like. Get them both up. Wait, you meant both of them. <laughs> I double, double Bulldog. <laughs> put them both in the stocks and jump. <laughs> yeah. Is that illegal? <laughs> no, that's definitely illegal. That's definitely illegal. Don't double, you get, don't you get less time, though, if you, like, drunk drive and kill, like, an old lady? Don't you get, like, less less time for it? You certainly should. Yeah, I think so. I'm Remember, sure. Yes. A lot of elderly know. ladies get fucking Verified crushed facts. by fucking drunk drivers. Geezers? Yeah. Yeah. It happens. Although Slowly they, crossing. That's my favorite traffic fatality is when an old person can't drive and, like, mows down people at, like, 12 miles yeah. an hour. That's a, kind of, that's a nice one. I told you, I was with my grandpa. We went golfing one time. He was fully geezed. I was in the golf cart with him. He ran over the golf pro. What? In the cart. Pinned him, pinned the golf pro <laughs> against where they, the, the bag holders at the, at the pro shop. Jesus. Yeah, it's pretty great. Then I got to drive. It was the first time I got to drive the cart. <gasps> what like, a dream. We still hit the links, dude. He was good. How'd the pro do? The pro, the pro probably gets hit like that once a week. Probably. <laughs> <Yeah. dude. laughs> pinned against the wall. <laughs> Just an old man like. <laughs> <laughs> They probably get off on that like, shit. Grandpa Jack, no. They probably get, they probably feel they probably can't breathe. Uh, like fuck, it's happening uh, again. Oh shit. Uh, take it. <laughs> fucking take, take my it. fucking life. It's yours. Take it. <laughs> <laughs> dude, the golf pros are some of the horniest dudes on earth. Uh, yeah, dude. That's just, that's a nice gig. Oh yeah. Becoming a pro golf just. Dude, you get um, to teach the ladies lessons. They wear their nice skirts. Bro. They drink a little vino on the course. Dude, it's probably like an ice wide shot thing between golf pros, personal trainers, and tennis pros. They probably like once a year fucking put on the masks. All the dumbest dudes. Too. Everyone's wife's pussy. Oh, the it's dumbest crazy. freaks on earth. It's nuts, dude. 
Personal training is wild. I mean, there's there's obviously good bros out there, but there obviously are some, there are good bros. Yes, there are some Siths though among the personal training. Yes, community. it's fucking nuts. There's a Siths amongst guys that go to the gym. Yes, there's some real weird Siths that go yeah. in there in their coolest outfits and seek women. Yeah, which I get. Look, I, I, it's easy for me to sit back and say, "What the fuck?" There's yeah. no part of me that can go into the gym and get pussy. Yeah, I but, go into the gym. It's like. What's I he mean, doing here? what do girl, the girls just look at the dude putting the most plates on the bar? And then is that like how they judge it? Like they have how, gym boyfriends, just like they have work boyfriends. What? Yeah, they have guys they have crushes on at the gym. That's fucking crazy. Yeah. I hate that, man. It makes me sick, dude. Women are disgusting. Men are loyal. Loyal as hell. Loyal as hell. It's great. I go there fucking my blinders on, dude. I'm I at never the gym. Look I'm at fucking. Butts. No, man. That's why I go to one guy. Me and a guy. That's it. Me and him. Now, he might he might be up to something. But that's fine. He might be trying to get me. That's fine. Everyone slips. He makes up me do those mistakes. fucking hip thrusts to warm up every time. Really? But he listens to the podcast, so he's heard me talk about how he looks at my dick when I don't. Does he stare? So he goes. Oh, he looks away. Yeah. What the hell? I've done. I've ta- he listens to the podcast. Yeah, true. he's heard me say I go in there and I do those fucking glute bridges and my and fucking his penis. fruitcake trainer stares at my little <laughs> nub sticking straight in the air. <laughs> so now he looks away. <laughs> I've never brought it up to him. <laughs> you gotta but be, I see him looking away. You gotta be, I'm check down there my going, form. You gotta be. Yeah, do you look at him? Like, dude, form check. Yeah, he doesn't form count. Check. Form check. So I need a little squat, little little spot me, spot me. You my hips. Can you lay underneath me and do it for me so I can see oh. how this works? <laughs> Damn, I would like to get tossed around by my trainer Ferg. That'd be nice. He would fuck me up. He'd see if he can give you some juice. I can't. I can't take, juice. Take dude. it to the next level. Could be time, dude. I'm right now. I'm 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 very into just a little bit of stuff now. I think it works fifty times better than this. Might sound so stupid. But it's like weed, caffeine. I think I figured alcohol. I figured it out. Moderation. So just a little bit, dude. But all of them at once. Just a little bit. Mm. And you're just you're enhanced. And you you wake up. You're fine the next day. Obviously, I you know I stayed up for three hours watching black conspiracy videos on YouTube because I did have I did pig out on the dark chocolate. Yeah, but that's a good day. Yeah, that's true. a good night. It, that was fun. you know what I mean. But dude, even with weed, I swear to God, it's just you just need a tiny, teeny, teeny bit of it, dude. Just a teeny, tiny bit. So you're just I'm Matt Plus. Yeah, but then if I get two, I got again. Actually, I, I like Matt Double XL. <laughs> I like Matt Triple X. I'm dude. I was spazzing on caffeine for a while, so now I've I've ta- I've I've titrated my caffeine intake. Mm. I've totally turned the dial on the weed intake. It's actually, now that I say that, that night of helium, the second night, I was so fucking high. Yeah, I don't know what I'm talking about. I was, dude. Do you ever? Do you ever? You like, to have a good night. Yeah, but I swear it's more fun if I'm like just not. Re- Dude, I had a leak. I I look. I hear you. I love a good getting absolutely smashed night. Yeah, that's fun. Now, nine times out of ten of those, I feel terrible about it the next day. Exactly. But when it was like like that was a good night. Yeah, that was a fun night. All the bros were there. Mm-hmm. We all had a nice time. I I don't feel that guilty on those. Yeah, it's not. I don't. I don't it's, have a guilt. If thing. I get like, if I go and do like spots at the cellar, yeah, and end up getting fucking obliterated on a Tuesday, sure. Then I'm like, geez, yeah, I gotta work on some things. No, that makes sense. I don't have a much of a guilt thing about it. It's just the physical effects. That's what really deters me. But I will say, I was in helium, and I was I was so stoned back there that I was like. <laughs> Starting to get like, like my whole brain was getting kind of staticky. Yeah. I'd be like, you start asking yourself like the fundamental questions where you're like, so I'm here. Yeah. Uh, what do I do? even know these guys? But that stuff, that, that, that wouldn't even get me. I would just go, I got bugged out because I was like, I think I have a governor on the amount of fun I can have. And it's significantly lower than everybody else's because I'll just uh, sit there and just go. I'm like, I'm enjoying it. No, I've seen going, you. I, you're I in have your head. fun. You're in your head. I don't know. I've seen you let loose, brother. I know. I, I can't have fun. You're, you're Mr. Responsible now. True. You used, to be, Mr. You used to be king of the good times. I saw you have some good times. That's probably what it is. I do have fun. That's the thing. I do have fun. Yeah. But it's like, it's hard to explain. I, I just get like, I think I was just, I was just way too high. I was sitting in the back of a green room and I started being like, especially on the way back, I was going like, so I'm here now. I definitely exist. How did that come about? 
Oh, that's overwhelming to think about. And I just go, <laughs> shut it off, dude. Shut it off. Yeah. Shut it down, dude. You're way over Matt Plus. You're Matt Plus, 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 dude. Yeah, dude. We said we're not going to get here anymore, dude. Matt to the 10th. <laughs> yeah, Matt. I was Matt to the 10th. You were to the 10th. <laughs> I was to the 10th degree. I'm like, dude, you did need like to get Matt the 10th degree. I like Matt to the 10th degree, dude. It was fun. I saw you drinking that tequila. I got very excited. It got me, bro. Yeah. You would have thought I was in the fields of the boys fucking poking the cacti. Yeah, dude, you were basically the rock in the tequila commercial. I was basically the rock in that commercial. You were just picking like, up gravel, oh. going. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be good tequila. Tequila does rule. Tequila does rule. It's very, very nice. In terms of hangover, I think tequila is my favorite of all of them. Yeah. But, but tequila you got to be careful. <laughs> you can run into it's, some problems. Yeah, dude. dude yeah, it's yeah. fucking exponential. White claw hangovers are horrendous. Terrible, dude. Yeah. I woke up one time bleeding. You get your period from if you have enough like malted. I woke up. I was like, oh, oh. yes. I've done it before with fucking high yeah. noons. I get you get like a period hangover. Yeah, it sucks, Matt. I get period hangovers <laughs> constantly. Dude, take a shit the next day. You're like, what the fuck happened? <laughs> Heavy flow. <laughs> Phlegm. <laughs> Dude, white claw hangovers are terrible. White claw hangovers are very bad. I think they have like like a point oh 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 one grams of fentanyl in them or something. They have something because they're starting to go down. And then you think you'd be able to drink twenty of them by the sixth one. You're like, oh. your mouth <laughs> yeah, is all dry. And you're yeah. <sighs> Yeah, well, it's good. Then you sucks. switch in flavors. You're like, I mean, white claw. What do you want? Like, doesn't matter. You stuck with a lemon. You're sitting yeah. there chugging lemon malt liquor. <sighs> That's Whatever what it is, right? It's it like is. malted. It's like malt malted syrup. Right. Well, what is it? It's, a, it's like a malted. Thank you. Good move, dude. It's like a malted. Just agree. We want yes men. Yes, you're absolutely right, guys. It's a malt something. You guys were right. You, of course you knew it. Yeah, it's like malt. What is that? Sucrose? No, I looked that up. <laughs> sucrose. Yeah, whatever that's. Sucrose. Yeah, I think so. Whatever that stuff is, man, I, it doesn't. I I was pounding high noons. You get so fucking thirsty. They're fun. And Billy's they're like pretty em. tight. They're pretty tight. But dude, just yeah. some a guy like me, dude, out in the field with the Mexican bros, tequila on the rocks, man. Yeah. Splash of soda, splash of pineapple. I'm being honest. Not much tequila on the rocks action. Really, it's pretty much a mixed drink. <laughs> yeah, like you had a pretty fruity looking drink. <laughs> I wasn't gonna do it. <laughs> no. I'm gonna let you steal value. Guy like me, tequila. On I was dude. gonna let you steal liquor right on value. the rocks, dude. Don't keep the lime. Just give me about like eight ounces of soda and about four ounces of yeah. pineapple juice. Try to completely mask the taste of the tequila. Guy like me, really. probably like five or six Bud Lights throughout the course of the evening. You know, God, nothing perfect. else. Is that Shane Plus? That's Chain Plus. Chain Plus. About the fifth or sixth one. Yeah. I hit, dude. I was mad to the tenth. In bed. Just, yeah. In bed, just fucking every cell in my body vibrating from all oh, so much weed and dark chocolate. Because that's what happens with me. The alcohol allows me to go further into the weed. Because mm. it like takes down the CNS. My central nervous system chills and it's and then I just go, What's this? I'm not getting anxiety. Let's smoke ten times the amount of weed I usually smoke do. until we get it. Yep. And yep. I, and then it's like it wasn't even there, but the thoughts are disturbing me. and My body's not responding. It's just purely yeah. Tron level in my mind where I'm sitting there going like, this is fucked up stuff to think about, but it's all right. <laughs> yeah. In the back of an Uber like, yeah, man, yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah. But yeah, that's a, bu that's a weird bug out to get into. What's that? Your own existence. Yeah. And just going. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I definitely exist. I'm real. We're all universes. How many billion years old? Eternal? Okay, that's fucking weird. I'm made out of eternal energy that's been probably a bunch of other stuff before me. Pretty cool, I guess, if I think about it. Oh, boy. Yeah, I guess that is neat. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. Now nah, you just got to get some Bud Lights, dude. It will, it will wash it out. Be like, this song's the best song ever. <laughs> <laughs> Start me up. <laughs> that's it, dude. Yeah, true. Don't it, stop me now, cause I'm I told you such a good time. If it's I'm having a ball. <laughs> <laughs> well, I told you with alcohol, I like I start to shut down. Just like my, I start getting like I catch myself missing words and shit, and I'm just like, yeah, you can miss some words. But if it's just alcohol, I don't. It's it starts getting like, feel shitty. I go, Wah. you like it. It's fun. Yeah. But if I can throw the weed in there, then it's like I hit the zone. And I, go, I don't think I've seen you just drink. Yeah. No, I, I don't, don't think ever. I've done it before. I did it in Australia that whole I'm time. I'm sure. Yeah. Australia, Australia was yeah. just the booze. It was a lot of booze. I didn't have my guardian angel. 
I'd have Santa Maria, Maria flowing around in me, dude. Yes. Surely I just get drunk and I, huh? Getting drunk and seeing those bats was probably as cool as it gets, dude. <laughs> that, was awesome. that was about as fun as it fucking gets, dude. Sure, there was some negative experience as well, but the, nah, bat, the, the bat experience out. was- The SIGs, a, the SIGs, SIGs the bats. and bats. SIGs, getting drunk, smoking SIGs and trying to load up a tree with fruit for bats. And not having any idea how fruit bats work. Yes. Pretty fun. That was awesome. That was- That a, first experience with the bats was as sick as it gets. <sighs> They were huge. They that were was the so size funny. of Gardini. Oh, for real. They were a bunch of Badinis flying around. <laughs> they were. <laughs> Gardo, you're a bit of a fruit bat. Defend yourself. I fruit say bats that. better than ho- horses. No that added to the list. No chance. There is a there is a cool bat I saw recently though. You ever see the hammerhead bat? <sighs> no. They Sounds will, pretty awesome. Looks like it has a moose head. It's giant. I'll show you a picture. Well, I'd like to see it. Yeah, pull it up, please. And we'll slide that over. Please bring that up. There's no product like Lucy Breakers, the only nicotine pouch with a surprise inside. Lucy Breakers tiny capsules break open to unleash a burst of flavors like mint, mango, berry, and more. Gas or get a stronger and longer lasting flavor in those gas station brands. What the hell? All right. Oh, then those gas station brands. My bad. Can we do it over? <laughs> Thank you. No, nah, leave it. <laughs> Can we do it over? You're like a little kid. You're like, oh. Why do you like the Lucy Pouch? What flavor do you like? I like mango. Because I'm a bit of a tropical man. There we go. Save yourself a trip to the gas station or corner store to get your nicotine. Subscribe online so you always got a box ready to go and save 15%. Get 10% off your first order on Lucy.co when you use our promo code drenched at checkout. Shipping is always free. That's lucy.co promo code drenched to receive $10 off and always free shipping. And here comes the fine print. Lucy products are only for adults of legal age and every order is age verified. This product contains nicotine. Nicotine is an addictive chemical. Now let's get back to the show. So what else is going on, brother? Nothing. Just chilling. Yeah, just yeah, this, I mean, this is a holiday episode. A holiday episode, Jesus dude. What do you guys Christ. think? I've just been laying at home eating cookies. The week between, you know, Christmas and the New Year's. The doldrums. Yo, these guys. Yo, dude. It looks like a, no wonder you like this. It looks like a fucking horse, dude. Thumbs down on the bat. Like oh, I've seen these guys. That thing looks crazy. Yeah, I think it's pretty tight. It's true. It's a real animal. Snopes had to look it up. <laughs> yeah, it's a good bat. See, the bats are freezing down in Texas way. Are they really? Yeah, they're dropping. Was it is Texas out. super chilly? Yeah, Texas got a little chilly too. Really? Because the winter can storms? Hack it. Yeah. That's not good. They'll be back. I feel like those guys will they'll never be, go. They'll, be, they'll come back. It sucks for them. Yeah, are we getting, uh, are we getting chilly? What's going on here? Everything's cold. <laughs> <laughs> What's up with the weather? The weather keeps getting cold. It's <laughs> so cold right now. I, I will say, again, every year you forget. Every year I forget oh, how dude. shitty the winter is. It sucks, bro. It's dark. It's never, the sun's never up. It's always fucking dusk. Yeah. Or dawn. It's dawn the whole morning. It sucks. I'm in the depths. This is my depths. Although I will say, this is my... Most gleeful winter yet. Usually I get real. Really? By my birthday, dude, I'm staring at a cake just like, what the fuck, yeah, dude? Man. I don't even know how old I am. I'm so excited for summertime. Oh, bro, I can't fucking wait. What are you going to do? Just I I literally, once once the sun starts getting warm, I lay outside and just soak yeah. it all up. Like when the sun first breaks on that first warm day, this has been first the last. First warm day does rule. Dude, I literally go upstairs. I obviously have a roof deck, not bragging. And I lay up on it, and I just sit there for as long as I can take it, and just let the sun scorch me. Mm. Let the sun have its fucking way with me, dude. Yes, Apollo, miss- sweet Apollo. Apollo, I've been missing you mm. so much. Oh, you know what I also like? I do like the first cold day. Mm, yeah. First time it's a little brisk in the morning when you yeah. know it's football time and the fall's coming. Yeah. Here come the Irish. They're gonna look so good this year. Dude. I do. I do like that first day Yo. of a sweater. Yeah, that's Notre true. Notre might be getting a honk at quarterback, dude. Uh-huh. I want you to take a look, dude. A new one? Yeah, well, there could be a hunk coming in. We got a hunk coach. Yeah. A dreamboat of a coach. <laughs> Did I say it's more of a dreamboat, but yeah. We might have a hunk quarterback coming in. <sighs> Hartman. Jeez. Hartman transferring from Wake Forest. Hopefully he transfers. Wait, dude, when you see this boy. Really? You're going to say, can you imagine him? Isn't, him? Your, isn't your quarterback pretty hot right now? No. Really? He also transferred. 
He left? Hartman from Wake Forest? That's a honk, dude. That's a honk. Ooh, okay. hubba, Can hubba. you uh, hold him up to me? Hubba Hubba's right, Fruit Bat. <laughs> <laughs> Let me say. Oh, my God. Can you imagine him in his golden helmet? Dude. Oh, my God. Can you imagine? Yo, dude. Did you see him with the thick beard? It's fucking Jack, too. Oh, my God, If he doesn't dude. come to Notre Dame, I'm going to be... He's a fucking model. I'm going to be so sad. Oh, my God, dude. I mean, what do you think? What kind of power do you think that guy would get on you? <laughs> if he thrust it into me? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> if this college boy... Do you think he'd be... Honestly, you think he'd be a little bit sensitive, or you think he'd be... Which one call it? Do you think he'd just slam it in? I think... I mean, he looks kind of like a party boy. That's what I I'm saying. I think he might slam it in me. I think head coach Marcus Freeman would be a little more... Play some shot hey, for you. Look at this, dude. Yeah, it's crazy. What's he doing? It's crazy. He looks like a fucking gladiator. He does. He looks like Crixus, the gladiator. But he still has fun on the field. He rolls his jersey up so you can see his belly. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> if I could get my hands on the new quarterback at Notre Dame, Hartman, Sam Hartman, please transfer to Sam Hartman. Yeah, that'd be tight. Please oh transfer. Gosh. But if he's bad, I'm going to be on, uh, first. Nothing worse than a pretty boy that's not good. Yeah, you true. Go, why don't you stop worrying about your looks? I'll Worry be honest. About the I'll, be honest game. Ass, I'll be yeah. honest. I'll tweet at him. You should. I say you fucking fine ass freak. <laughs> <laughs> you. Fight. Oh, what's your big ass dick throw off your swing, yeah. dude? When you're throwing the ball, bitch. Psst. Come on, dude. Give me an ugly guy. Just launching it. I'm not, I don't think who's the ever... ugliest quarterback ever. I feel like the, has good. there been any like, who have been like a complete? <laughs> yeah, there's been a couple of messes. <laughs> I, I can't think of Trent Dilfer a... wasn't the <laughs> hottest dude. Uh, what Carson Wentz? Yeah, uh, you guys are being hard on him. What the hell are you talking about, Carson Wentz? I thought he was fucking Carson Wentz isn't the worst. Yeah, dude. Andrew Luck wasn't that handsome, dude. Andy Dalton? Andy Dalton? No, Andy Dalton's handsome. No. Why, because he has red hair? Don't be mean to the fruit bat, the sweet <laughs> gardenias. Dude, what are you talking about, Carson Wentz? Is, Carson Wentz is guy. handsome, dude. He looks you like an American hero. He looks like a hero. That's like a troop, dude. It's like the heat miser. Who's the heat miser? From uh, Rudolph? You ever see him? No. That's what Andy Dalton looks like. I can't Andy think. Andy Dalton, that's nah, not an ugly guy. Devil. You're out I've, of your mind. I've never seen a QB who, it's a fine you know, boy. I wouldn't go. I've seen Sam Bradford literally. take some rough pictures. He's got a, sometimes he looks cross-eyed. Really? Um, <laughs> people give Eli Manning a hard time. Oh yeah, the Mannings. The Mannings aren't the most handsome. I gentlemen. like those boys. Peyton, they have a distinct look that uh, Peyton's a fucking they strong, could play tall the game, guy. Boy, they could play the game. These guys all look the same. Now that I'm getting into it, it's like it's Eli Manning looks exactly like Carson Wentz. <laughs> they I might. They, they might have. Are they clones. just wearing a helmet. <laughs> they might have clones out here. I think they are clones. <laughs> they could be cloning. Learners. They could be. Who I'm trying to think. I can't think of any other quarterbacks. Joe Montana was obviously a honk. Montana, I mean that's Joe Cool. Was Dan Marino? Didn't Dan Marino? Dan Marino was like, a bit of a honk, dude. He's an Italian Pittsburgh honk, dude. Damn, Dan Marino's hot as hell. Fuck, dude. Who fucks ugly. There's nobody. There's no ugly quarterbacks. Joe Burrow's a honk. Boy, that's the finest white boy. I who? Seen. That's a fine ass white boy. Who was the quarterback for the Buccaneers? I said Trent Dilfer. Is that who that was? There's, Dilfer is the Buccaneers. Trent Dilfer, as he got older, got a little rough looking. Yeah. Let me see. No, nah, he looks player. when he's playing. He's, yeah, Trent Dilfer's looking all right. He's a fine man. I don't. <laughs> Honestly, if this dude pulled up on a construction site and some like tight wranglers, people are like, damn, that guy gets Dilfer. Closer. Yeah. Matt Ryan's not ugly though. He's goofy looking. Nah. There's dude. There's not. A, I I think we've stumbled upon. I don't think there's an ugly quarterback. It's a handsome position. That's what I'm saying. For sure. They're the superstars. Yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. yeah, again, Matt Ryan, oh, dude. If this guy was selling you insurance, shit. dude, you'd have to keep one arm on your wife's wrist at all times. <laughs> yeah, I, I tried. I this is like a this is like a gorgeous man in an office. This guy was in an office setting. He'd be a gorgeous man. Oh yeah. <laughs> that must be tight being a hot man in an office. Who's Jeff Saturday? Yeah, he's the coach of the Colts now. He played center for the Colts. He's not that bad looking. Nah, these what, guys are all pretty. What is high. happening, dude? What? Why are they all handsome? I don't you know. know. He's actually kind of fucking ugly, Patrick Mahomes. You think so? True. He's got a bit of a Muppet look to him. That was the guy who who did he play for? You can find hot pictures, he's obviously. Chiefs right now. He's got a. You think he put on a headband, headband and fool us? Like, damn, it's actually yeah, he's kind of head. fucking rough looking. That's the first picture that comes up. 
<laughs> <laughs> He's squinting in the sun, dude. Well, that's fine. He's squinting in the sun. He looks like an athletic 11 year old. He does look Chill. like a little tiny boy. Which Ooh, what's his name in the pantsuit uh, from Arizona? Dude, Patrick Mahomes looks what's like Elijah little, Wood. He looks guy. like Elijah Wood. Oklahoma. Kyler Murray. Is uh, he? Hold on. Dude, you're telling me. Look at that, dude. That's Mahomes. portrait mode on the iPhone. That's a nice picture, dude. Doesn't he, he, doesn't he kind of look Ooh, like Elijah I, Wood? I might be right. What? Kyler Murray is not that attractive. Who's that? The guy who wore the pantsuit. What's his name? Kyler Murray. You're just not attracted to black guys. No, that's not true, dude. <laughs> You're just not sexually attracted to black guys. Patrick men, Mahomes dude. is not. Come on, dude. <laughs> dude. He's a red Don't you dare. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I don't like about First off, look at him. Kyler. <laughs> He's got a flat head, dude. He's, yeah, yeah. He's a hammerhead. He's hot as hell. Motherfucking flat head. Hammerhead. Hammerhead ass bat. <laughs> dude, I'm not wrong. Kyler Murray's. <laughs> That's the ugliest one so far. So far. How is he? How I, don't is think, he I don't think African-American quarterbacks are ugly. That's not true. I didn't say you thought that. I think that. Jalen Hurts is attractive. I think Michael Vick was attractive. Ooh, bad boy like that. Hold on, let me see Michael Vick. That's Michael true. Vick was a bit of a hunk. Dude, dude I like your sexual look. preferences, your sexual preferences. You, don't, you know what I mean? I let Dante Culpepper get it. Cole big Pep? dog. Big dog getting after it. Kind of yeah, thick type. Yeah, Michael Vick. Had, boy. Michael Vick. Thick tar killing all those dogs. I would love it, dude. Damn, that'd be so crazy if he brought you there and you'd be like, Oh my god, what are you doing, Michael? Mike, this is bad. We shouldn't do this. And he grips you up. And you're like, Mike. Oh. <laughs> 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 Shit. Did he get arrested? He got arrested for that, right? Yes. Damn, dude. You he think with the fucking pro- jail? You think that. he scrambled on the cops a little? <laughs> he broke out of some tackles. <laughs> <dude>. <laughs> The best was ESPN running an article that said, what if Michael Vick was white and they white faced Michael Vick? That was on what? ESPN. That was on ESPN. That's what they think he'd look like? Yeah. They said, what if Michael Vick was white? Why did white? they do white face on Michael Vick? And what they was, were running an article saying, what do they think? would we be as racist to him if he was white? And they just literally, that's an ESPN article. Dude, he would have been, if Michael Vick was white, he would have got shot by a firing squad. For killing dogs? Yeah. Uh, uh, Matt? Dude, if it, I couldn't agree more. Yeah, dude, that's crazy. If to white be guys like, kill a dog. If the I'm, whites will round them up. Yeah, dude. We, the whites. Dude, if Peyton Manning was running a dog fight operation, he would have been fucked. Yeah. But are they saying like they went harder on him because he was black? Dude, yes. Dog dog I fight thing. That's a kind of a nuts. That's a nuts scenario. Although, if Michael Vick was white, he would be considered the greatest quarterback of all time. If he was running like that as a white guy, every single person would be like, dude, he was the best ever. Yeah, like, oh my God. How was his arm, though? Was his arm? Didn't, wasn't cannon. it? Cannon. Was it cannon? Cannon. So what the fuck's the beef? He went to fucking jail. He killed a bunch of dogs. <sighs> he was fucking fighting them. Him and his friends. They're fighting them. They're having a good time. Seeing who the strongest dog was. To be fair, they should, if they're going to, this is a nice little thing we should do. Rather than putting a dog down, they should let it fight to its death. You know what I mean? Oh, man. That'd be the most tragic shit ever. Yeah, but you dude. could give him, like, Thinking big, about Shaq Diesel on his last legs getting big fucking doses, munched. Dude, big doses of, like, painkillers and stuff. Just shoot him up full of, like, opiates and meth. And just let them yeah. tear each other. But they won't feel it. Let them just <sighs> go out in a blaze of glory. Yeah. I'm just saying, you know, Maybe that's, one, was... that's one road to redemption. Hmm. I don't want to lose any other great quarterbacks to that kind of entertainment. It would be nice if a white quarterback went down. For killing fucking, dogs? Yeah. If Andy Dalton went down to a compound dog fighting. It'd be awesome. Yeah. It'd be awesome. And he was like, guys, these dogs were going to die. They were sick. They were sick. You guys were not built the same dogs. You know, I had to drown and electrocute the losers. <laughs> I had to do Is that it. what they did? They were doing some wacky stuff. Did they put, what, how, did, how do they do it? They put like a, like a toaster in a pool and, and like threw them hanging in? them up on trees and shit. They got a little rowdy with these dogs. What? Yeah. Where's he from? Virginia Beach. Virginia Beach? Yeah. Him Dang. and AI. Think AI ever peeped the dogs at all? I'm sure he's seen a couple of canines. A couple of canines go at it. <laughs> That's, it is crazy, though, for that to be like a normal part of life for you. And then all of a sudden you get like bigger than you ever could imagine. You get a it's house like, and you build a kennel. Like, dude, now we get to really dog fight. Like, all guys, that shit in the backyards, that was fine. Now we're doing it, dude. That's the Johto Leagues. He was like, guys, we're ready for the Johto Leagues. It's time. It's time. <laughs> you know? And the door gets kicked open. And they're like, everybody get the fuck on the ground. Oh, for what? Do they have like a welterweight where it's like Chihuahuas versus Jack Russells? 
<laughs> Unfortunately, in dog fighting, there's I don't know if there is weight classes like that. I think they toss the Jack Russells in with the big guys. Oh no! Yeah, those are training dogs. They toss them in. Because I'm pretty sure it's pit bulls, Akitas, shepherds. Probably... What are those dogs called? Bait dogs. Yeah. What for real? Yeah, they toss little dogs in to get the pit bulls like mean. Because they will bark. They Chihuahuas don't know their up. own size. Yeah, they will bark. They don't know their own size. <laughs> Damn, look at the dog. Part, the dog fight lit, dude. Yeah, toss them in, dude. I'm about to make how it. Do the, how do, after like two of those, are you not like, all right. This is crazy. Stop. Yeah. If you saw one, it'd be like, damn, that was fucking sad. Yeah, dogs get treated differently down south, though. Yeah. Dude, like so many of the rescues come from the south. Like, I think 80% of the dogs don't look, don't actually, no, look this up. No, look this up. I think 87% Florida, of dogs in the south around. are tied to like an old clothesline. 365 days a year and get beat by the entire family and nobody feeds them. <laughs> That's I true. think 85% of the dogs below the Mason Dixon line are tied outside we all day. Need a new long. Civil War. You, you could be f- the new Abraham Lincoln. Yeah, I should be. You could be the Emancipate <laughs> B- Barclamation. <laughs> <laughs> How do they keep doing it? The Emancipation <laughs> Barclamation? <laughs> yes. <laughs> And back to business. Back straight back to business. <laughs> back to business. It's time. Yeah, brother. I'll tell you what, man. I'll tell you what. I mean, it doesn't get better than the Emancipation Barclamation. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> I mean, bro, this whole thing was an oyster and we just got to the pearl. We found it. It is what it is. A lot of people are going to sit back and say, they've lost it. They don't have the juice anymore. <laughs> That's then not they're going to hear Emancipation Barclamation and go, they're reaching higher levels. Holy <laughs> shit. This thing's about to be a household fucking podcast, this is about dude. To be, this is going to replace the nightly news. For sure. Women are going to turn off the murder mysteries and go, hold on a second. Wait a second. Hold on a are second. Are these guys just bashing women for two hours <laughs> in, t- in between talking Nazis? <laughs> That's what I want to hear. Every newsman across the room was like, uh, we have breaking news. The news is done. The pod- this guy's every Shut down the news. Podcasting. We have a new news. Yeah. If we were the new news, what would you say to open it? If we said, all right, episode one. You're now the nightly news, Matt. Hey, guys. Uh, we've been lying to everyone forever. <laughs> we're going to stop. I swear to God, we're going to fucking stop. We've lied. And then somebody comes in and goes, I'll give you $50 million if you lie. And you go, ah, we're going to lie some yeah, more. Yeah, true. We're going to keep lying. True. True, true, true. That'd be tough. That, that, that genuinely is tough. That's the thing, too. People love to judge. And it's like, bro, if someone hits you with 50 mil. I mean, it is terrible to go in and like start a war and kill two hundred thousand people, but yeah, but you don't see him. You don't. You're just at home in your house, going. Ah. Yeah, you're at home being like, wait a second, this fridge shows me exactly how many ounces of water I'm drinking. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh nice. shit! There, there's a coup there. Oh no. Yeah. The guy we propped up started a genocide. <sighs> yeah, like coup. That's kind of a cool word if you think about but it. There's a tablet ah. on the front of my refrigerator that I can put pictures of my grandkids on. Yeah. That's pretty cool. That's nice for them. Mm-hmm. Guys. <laughs> True classic. You've won the hell out of your goddamn shirts this year. It's time to upgrade those stretched out pit stained rags. True classic's got the best feeling and best looking tees out there. Mandatory personal endorsement. How does it fit? How does it feel? Do you like it? Do you like trues? I kind of do. I had one on the other day, and you do feel kind of nice. fucking. They're nice. Put it on and go because you don't get like crushed for a tight t shirt because it's mm-hmm. kind of flowy in the bottom, but you do get to get that cred of you like get to look like you have jacked shoulders. Yeah, exactly. That's the thing about when you're big, when you put your arms in, it's all meat here. Mm-hmm. There's nothing in it, so the, this part of the sleeve sticks out. Yeah, not on a true classic. It's true. I did. You know, I'll be honest. If I didn't like the way they fit, I'd say, "Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't See, like the we way wouldn't, they fit." We won't do your ads unless we enjoy. I'll your do product. their ads, but I'll say, "Hey, I'll do your ads." But I, I'll, I'll be honest. There will I don't be like no it. personal endorsement. I put them on. I go, "Yeah, dude, maybe I am fucking jacked from carrying my maybe kids all the time and not jacked. going to the gym in fucking year." From polos to workout t-shirts, even even boxer briefs designed to keep your boys feeling nice and comfortable. True Classic has something for everyone on your list. They have long options for tall guys and up to triple XL for you fucking idiots. Get 25% off trueclassic.com with code drenched. Free shipping included on purchases over $100. That's 25% off at trueclassic.com with code drenched. Santa won't be the only ones slaying thanks to True Classic. Oh, 
Oh, that's what they mean, like slang. Slang, like pussy. pussy. Yeah, just remember pussy. That you, and according, to, right in your according true to their marketing, you will slay pussy if you wear a true classic t shirt. And you'll nut right into it. You're going to jizz. They're jizz tested. I've they are jizz tested, jizz classics. approved. Oh, yeah. Get 25% off, all right, with co- promo code drenched. And back to the show. Guys, now it's time to tune back into the number one hit podcast, Matt and Shane Secret Podcast. Yeah, I wonder what they're going to do about the third world. They'll, they'll figure something out with that, I think. Those guys are going to figure it out. You think so? Yeah. I mean, dude, that has been. I, I think we're going to get slammed in history. Because yeah. it's like they're, they're, there was a guy on Rogan basically being like, they're slaves making all in the Congo? lithium in the batteries Congo, yeah. and shit. And everyone's kind of enjoying basically slave labor yeah. currently i think they're gonna look back and be like wait they were just like letting people start i think some i think someone dies of starvation every like seven minutes or something yeah so i think they're gonna be like that wasn't the nicest of everybody in the world just be complaining be like i ate too much again my belly hurts and some yeah, guys like, like, i don't even want taco bell but i'm gonna order it <laughs> <laughs> some guy on the other side of the world's like my belly hurts too <laughs> but from different stuff yeah, everybody's belly gonna, hurts dude I think we're going to look back on that and go, ooh, that was tough. No, why are your eyes so big sharing information? Yeah, what you got? Do you guys want to guess how many people die each day from starvation? Uh, I'm going to go 15,000. In the world. 15,000 maybe? Shane? I'll stick with Matt. I like that. 25,000 ah. people, including 10,000 children. So 15,000 adults die every day of starvation. And 10,000 kids? Yes. Yikes. God, that's a tough way to go. Yeah, and then there's like a whole bunch of people who aren't dying or like literally dying from it, but are like being. Yeah, three point one million children die a year of starvation. Jeez, man, that's pretty bad. Nearly half of them <sighs> under the age of five. Oh, terrible, <laughs> terrible. I'm telling you, and I didn't I, even get extra chicken in my fucking sweet green. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm pretty sure three meals a day is complete. Bull- I don't think you need three meals a day at all. It's a complete fabrication. Yeah. I've been trying to rely as much as I can. I'm a unit, and I don't eat three meals a day. Yeah, you you actually, I I would say I probably eat more than you. Yeah, I drink a lot. Yeah, true. <laughs> Going through the calories. <laughs> <laughs> I drink a lot. I've been trying to rely uh, strictly on my inner signals to eat. Really? When, yeah. you're when it's time to eat? You yeah, eat. when it's time to eat, I eat. I'm not yeah. just going to eat because it's you like, go, oh, it's, it's, yeah. it's 9 o'clock. It's Although I do eat now. sometimes just like I'm bored. I do it all the time. Yeah. I'm trying to stop. I'm trying to just rely on my inner signals for as much stuff as possible. Yeah. It's my, right now, inner signals, Apollonian state. That's what I'm working with right Apollonian now. Apollonian state? Yeah, that, that's just when you, like, choose to put the, not not a delusionally positive spin on things, but you identify if you're just being negative for the sake of being negative. If you are being negative to try to be negative, yeah. Not even to try, just to be like, yeah, is this is this negative interpretation of the events some sort of automatic thing I'm putting on it, or is it just, just like, you know... Because you don't want to do two rose-colored glasses, but there's a lot of times I catch myself yeah. being a fucking, just a brat for no reason. Being a little grimace. Auto brat. I go into auto brat mode where I'm just like, <laughs> yeah. I did it the other day. <laughs> Takes, I, I let you guys know when I'm in brat mode. Yeah. I'll tell you. I go, I'm being nice. a fucking douche about this. Yeah, There's yeah. an issue that I'm mad about. I know I'm being gay about it. Yeah, but just let me do my thing. This is it. Yeah. I'm going to come out of it. Sorry I'm telling you about it. It's gay. I'm telling you about yeah. it. Yeah. But you yeah. need to do that, though. Because I can come out and say, well, you're, that's actually the case. And you go, what the hell? It turns <laughs> yeah, out it's fucking Every out. once in a while, yeah. It's nice to get some affirmation. Yeah, you need it. Yeah, you can. it's pretty nuts. I mean, if you think about it, if you didn't talk to anyone else ever, you'll just fucking completely lose your mind. Yeah. Pretty crazy. Hey. Yeah, keep it fucking down out there, dude. God. Yo. The news is on. <laughs> <laughs> God damn, another one. We dude. keep chugging along, brother. But yeah, no, I... Uh, That'll I be like a big it. one. They're the gonna have to negativity, figure out. Negativity is, yeah. You gotta, It'll get you. Yeah, you got to bring it up. Yeah, they did. That's There's a whole, fuck, what's this guy's name? Marty Seligman, I think. And that, that was his whole field of study was like figuring out basically that people default to just negative interpretations of events. And you become, that becomes your autopilot of how you interpret everything that's happening to you. And they were saying like overwhelmingly those people become clinically depressed. Yeah. But then they were saying like you can, compl- the Apollonian state is going, wait a second. I don't have to be miserable about this or like yeah. basically knowing that things aren't permanent. You can be like, well, yeah, this sucks, but this won't be permanent. 
That's the, that's apparently the hallmark of people who are clinically depressed. They go, and it's never going to end. And it's like, yeah. you're just making, you're literally just making that. You have It'll no pass. idea. You have It'll no pass. idea. Yeah, exactly. Until but, it doesn't. And then you die and then it passes. Exactly. Eventually it passes. It does. Yeah, I've been less and less rattled by death as I get older. Like significantly less rattled by death. I mean, mm. again, obviously if like someone came in with their gun, I'd be scared. Yeah. Like it used to like get me in my quieter moments being like, and now I'm just kind of like, yeah, man, I'm fucking. Yeah. Twish. <laughs> For sure. One day I'm going <laughs> to. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I get sad about other people. I, I'm more sad. sad thinking about you dying than me. You th- really? That's a sweet it's thing kind of a to bummer. Say. Yeah. It's That's a, a bummer thing thinking that you're going to be fucking dirt someday. Yeah. I might not. You'll never die. <laughs> you think you might <laughs> upload? You might get a clone, dude. I might you get, might get a clone. They might be like, he was on to something. We've got to say, did you hear <laughs> Emancipation Bar Cremation? <laughs> Build a time machine. Bring him back. <laughs> bring him into the future. If you're going to submit your 23 and me. They're going to say, take that Store one. Store that one. That's going to be a, they're gonna psh, like a little like futuristic bi- like biological technology in a metal briefcase. Yeah. <laughs> Some guys have to fight people off the submachine with lasers, gun. dude. We gotta and recreate. The, we gotta recreate the Barclavation Proclamation. <laughs> Whoever came up with that, where the robots have taken over. Only the best sense of humor can stop them. <laughs> Who's the guy who said emancipation? Barclavation. <laughs> Golly, I'm telling you, man. Gosh, I was telling you. I was telling you on the way over here. If you think about it, how much better than silence is this podcast? It's so much better I than told silence. You. It's for real. It's so much better it's than 50, silence. 50. Although silence can be tight, but it's silence is you gotta Silence work is it. tight if I don't have a grumbly belly and fucking breathing weird. <laughs> then I, I, I need it, dude. The second so I'm sitting or standing all day, the second I lay flat, my stomach's just <laughs> I'm just laying there, just like Jesus fucking Christ. The crank starts talking. Dude, the crank starts talking on, <laughs> over here. You'll hear something on the side. You'll hear something down there. It's so fucking big. You hear them all over the place. It's echoing. The rainforest. It's echoing. It's so loud, dude. I lay down at night. It's just animals screaming. Bro. That'd, be, that'd be funny if your like gut floor were like that big, like your cells. Yeah, like, probiotics bugs, were, like, little slime soccer's yeah. just. Blah. How nice is slime soccer? I'm not sure I know what slime soccer is. You guys never play slime soccer on the on the desktop where it's like you're a little looks like you're a little gumdrop and you can play soccer against other people or the computer and you just go forward, up, and back. No, let me take a look. Dude, take a gander at slime soccer. I still every now and again will play that game against a computer. I mean, I'm pretty nasty. But dude, slime soccer. And you can oh no, know what it is? You can play against someone where you play on one side of the keyboard, they play on the no, other side. No, I don't of the remember keyboard. this. Bro, slime soccer, give it a look. If it's you and another person, I try to get Brittany to play me in it all the time. She's like, I'm not playing this. I think there's the there's the direction buttons, and I get like A S W D. I'm psh, got my fingers on there. Just a girl who loves soccer and slime. Yo, bro. I might get that. The hell's that? Oh, no, a classic T-shirt. Just a girl who loves soccer and slime. Are they talking about the Young Slime Gang? I don't know. All day I think about... Dude, there's so many of these. All day I think about soccer and slime. What kind of slime are they thinking the about? What the fuck is this? Are they trying to break into my laundry and steal my slime? What is this f- fucking world we... St- Look at this. Soccer <laughs> plus slime equals yeah, life. Yeah, just saw that one. What the fuck is what this? What is that? Can we get to the bottom of that, know, please? I don't know. Slime. Play soccer. <laughs> make slime. What? Like uh, Nickelodeon? I don't know, dude. We got to get to the bottom of that. You remember in like in high school when all the girl teams had like slut mantras on their jerseys? Yeah. Like cheerleaders do it on the bleachers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Volleyballs players do it on the hard wood. It's like, yo, dude, what the yeah. fuck? These are girls, bro. Fucking whores. You guys going to the? We guys going to the regional tournament on the old island? What do you think about that? What do you think about that? Do you get I the think bottom about- of soccer and slime? What it, what the bottom of what? Figure out what, what the, the hell, fuck what the that hell means. soccer and slime means. <laughs> it has to be game related. I don't know. It has nothing to do with the game. Game related? What the <laughs> hell? It has nothing to do with the computer game. It's I, definitely I, not slime soccer, dude. Bro. Only the fucking truest <laughs> of the true know about slime soccer. On Etsy, there's an entire section of soccer slime things. <laughs> I'll find this in two seconds. What Jesus are they doing? Christ. What are soccer and slime meaning? Two seconds. Watch this, guys. Is how you use the net. Soccer field slime. 
Uh, I don't know what the hell this means. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Just tell me shirts for skins. Oh, because I did. Oh, hold on. I got a good one. I just remembered this from seeing Green Slime. What you got? It was during the Christmas game. I was able to put on the Nickelodeon version of the football game. You guys ever see the Nickelodeon what? broadcast? What is it? The that? Nickelodeon broadcast the football game. Yeah. The NFL game. And they include like, like as soon as I put it on, I was sitting with Phil. So that was very fun. I got to trick Phil. Nice. Going to put on the Nickelodeon Slime football game. And so, like, when someone scores, they throw green stuff all over the field. It's fake. It's all, you know, yeah, yeah. filters and shit. But the first thing was, like, there was just a Santa Claus at wide receiver. And he, like, ran a route. And I could see my dad, like, what the hell? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> like, a player would score. They'd throw slime all over him. <laughs> Wait, He's so like, Nick Lillian pays on? to broadcast the game yeah. and slimes everybody? Yeah. Who watches that? The field goal becomes SpongeBob. It was actually, oh, it was actually pretty kids enjoyable. Kind of quiet, yeah. yeah, too. You can keep the watch yes. the game and keep your kids. It was pretty enjoyable. That's kind of nice. I liked the animated Santa running around on the field. Yeah, dude. But it was nice to see Phil. You know, all the player like introductions were like cartoons of the players. He, he probably thought he was fucking losing it. So, um, I mean, it, he has been like out of touch with like graphics. You know, what I mean, when he watches football, it's not what he used, to, what he remembered. True. He's starting to get like, what the hell is this? Because it's all like, it's like a, you know, like Fox football is like a robot. Like, yeah, I was, I was telling someone too. It looked, it looks more like video games. You just look more like the game. Now the game looks yeah. more like video games. It's kind of weird. You're exactly right. It's kind of. Has nuts. anybody figured out slime soccer? What do women like about slime and soccer? I mean, bro, my mind's trying to figure it out, and I'm going, Matt, Matt, chill, Matt, chill. It's definitely not what you're thinking, Matt, chill. And why is this, the slimes and rainbow stuff? It, it, what the fuck I is clicked that? it and it took me to India okay there we go I clicked the link and it said I couldn't purchase that in the United States it's women soccer and slime I mean it's what happens when women play soccer a bunch of slime a bunch of <laughs> fucking shit you want green shit <laughs> yeah. I don't know what the hell they're yeah, doing yeah we've run this thing's done where yeah, are we at we fucking killed it though <laughs> 56 that's good Woo! that's perfect we did it bro huh yeah we gotta do ads we'll add ads which one do you think's patreon i think first one this is this is the fucking real deal <laughs> this, is the true egg. Yeah, this is the re this is the true one wait first one was patreon this I is think the so. realness i think this is the real i think bro. So. i like it i think i mean the first one was great it's don't tough. get me wrong first one's more of a slow burn longer time if you, you know what was the first one an hour 20 We'll give that to our Patreon listeners. It's more time. We'll give them a nice treat. Again, really, we're they're just, we're just trying to defeat our listeners' silence. Everyone gets all highfalutin with like, oh, we're going to tell you. Forget all that, dude. You can go learn stuff wherever. Yeah. But we're going to just let you. This is basically just going, <whistles> excuse me. <whistles> we're whistling in your mind, dude. You're yes. fucking doing the thing and just doop de doop 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 de doop de doop yeah, you don't want to you don't want to strain yourself with like a ton of facts and knowledge. Yeah. Don't do that. I do it all day to myself. It's not fun. All day, all I'm looking up is facts and constantly, knowledge. Bro. I seek knowledge. Big constantly. facts about all the clones, dude. What about all the damn clones? Who the hell, dude? Is Megan is Megan the Stallion? Is Megan the Stallion a clone? Tina Turner. She is Tina Turner. They is get out of there. Who's who's doing the cloning? Hollywood, dude. Hollywood. Hollywood. To push the, Who to controls push the... Hollywood? I don't know. To be fair, Mel Gibson. <laughs> <laughs> who's doing the cloning? Uh, it's all like corporations <laughs> in Hollywood and stuff. But Probably the a president. lot of Jay's, It's to push the. It's to push uh product. It's to it's push to make black women buy products. They use black women to push products so white women buy them. Yeah, that's mm. what they're saying. That's what this one guy is saying. I don't but mind. I don't that know. Again, theory. I got an open mind, dude. Maybe it's wrong. You know, I don't know. Yes, maybe it's wrong. But either way, we don't. We'll get it. Someday there. we'll figure it out. We're gonna get to the bottom of this. We'll get to the bottom. But until then, all I can think about is slime and sock. Yeah, if you want to hear about clones, go to the motherfucking Patreon. Yeah, if you want to learn here, if you want to hear about cloning, if you want to get the ultimate breakdown on Tory Lanes, bro, dude, my YouTube is nothing now than nothing but uh. Uh, criminal defense attorneys now breaking down famous cases it might be some of the best YouTube That's pretty sick. it's so fun it's very fun they sit there and they go let me tell you something he's not going to do 22 years i'd bet a thousand but he'll do maybe a year yeah yeah all these guys he's going away for 22 years no he's not no he's not he's not no dude 
All yeah, right. criminal defense attorneys' <laughs> YouTubes are pretty tight. I've never even, uh, I've never even considered that. Yeah, I mean, so dude, they just sit there and fucking talk about how their guy's not in trouble. Well, they go by the evidence. They go gunshot residue. That shit gets on everyone around the gun, and DNA is actually really difficult to get on a gun. Fingerprints next to impossible because of all the oil and shit on the gun. So you have oils on your finger, oils on the gun. The prints. It, when they say there was no prints on the gun, meaningless. DNA mm. evidence next to meaningless. Gunshot residue, you were around where the gun was fired, but there's no yeah. way to prove you actually shot it. Around. It's weird. Lee Harvey Oswald didn't have any on his hands. Hey, and gunshot residue? That's kind of nuts. Because it does, it spreads everywhere. Mm -hmm. If you're in a car, say you're in a car, say like me, you, and Gardini were in a love triangle, and Gardini had sex with both of us, and we were fighting, and then Gardini came out, shot him. me in the foot. We tossed him around. Or is he little humping me? Oh, he's he, he is. Me and him would be like Maggie Stallion. And <laughs> you better not shoot me in the foot for acting up at the Kardashian house. <laughs> the Devil's Palace, bro. They had a, they had black men's legs sticking out of cauldrons there. Absolute <laughs> demons. That's what, that's what Sean Blazington yeah. said. <laughs> Did he really? I was gonna yeah. say that's a really good Sean Blazington. They got black men's legs sticking out of cauldrons. <laughs> You gotta get the hell out of Drake went in there and said, I'm getting the hell He'd out of here. He'd go in there in a fucking heartbeat, dude. <laughs> Blazing <God> shit? damn. <laughs> All right, let's wrap it. Yep. Thank you for listening to our podcast. Goodbye. Shalom.